Thinking about adding motion detection to your smart home? Today we're going to set up and review the Go Control Z Wave motion sensor. Stay tuned. Motion sensors are a big part of the smart home. Today we're going to set up and review the Go Control PIR motion sensor. My original plan was to put this in my kitchen, but for reasons that will become clear in this video, my plans have changed. Now this is destined for my office. In a previous video, we installed an Ecolink motion detector in my garage to make sure my lights automatically turn off. You can find that video right here. This seems to be working well and I want to use a Go Control sensor for both on and off functions. The Go Control motion detector uses passive infrared or PIR. It hangs on your wall and sends status updates to your smart hub. The signals are motion started and motion stopped. The Go Control has a temperature sensor that can be connected to robots for additional home automation. Inside the box, you'll find a motion sensor, a battery, double back tape, and the instruction manual with text that can only be read with a high power magnifying glass. An immediate downside to the sensor is the lack of a mounting plate. The Ecolink provides a mounting plate which allows for quick removal, and this is an important feature. The only option for installing the Go Control motion sensor is double back tape. If you notice the location of this clip right here, this is what allows you to open the sensor. It faces backwards. This is going to be very close to the wall. You'll need to access this clip to change the battery, and I imagine a lot of cussing will take place. There's also a pinhole on the back right here that you'll need to pair the unit. If you ever need to access this for any reason, you're out of luck. Once a double back tape has it stuck to the wall, there's no getting this off without removing the tape and having to remount it. I also don't like that my only option is using adhesive tape on my wall. Small screw holes are easy to patch, removing adhesives not so much. So let's get this set up. The first thing you'll need to do is open the sensor. If you want to spare your fingernails, use a flat screwdriver to open the clip on the top of the sensor. Once it's open, you'll see a slot for the battery. Install the battery and you're ready for setup. Alright, let's get this connected into the Wink app. First thing you're going to want to make sure is you have a paper clip. You're going to need this when it comes to pairing the device into the app itself. So inside the app we're going to select our hub, click on add product. The scan barcode function does work for the Go Control so we're going to use this feature. Click the scan button. Get right up there, allow it to focus. And we're off and running. Next, next. We already installed the battery, so that's not an issue. And we hit the connect now. Then grab your sensor. And on the back, you're going to see that little hole. Just going to push that in. I like to do it a couple times. Three times kind of slow and then maybe five times kind of fast. Now it does take it a couple seconds for it to get registered, so we just have to be patient. And there it is. Alright, so now we go through. Next we have the success and all the stuff that it tells you every time you add a device. And it's in there. Okay, now that we have this in, let's go ahead and add a robot. And the robot is going to turn my office lights on or off. Uh, right now, we'll just set up the on. So we're going to go into motion detection. I've got this sensor. And from here, we're going to say make a new robot. New robot will name office on. And the sensor, anytime. I have motion, I want to turn on my loft, save, and then I want to turn on my desk, on and save. Let's make sure we enable it, and we're done. Now to test this, let's go back over to my lights. And we're going to turn off my loft light and the desk light. Okay, so now that we have the robot set up, 
we have the verification inside the app that the motion detection has stopped and now we should be able to grab our motion detector and you see the lights come on if we go back into the app refresh that sensor you'll see where it notified us that the motion detection has started if you have pets you can use this jumper to set the sensor to ignore small or large pets. There's also a test setting that will monitor for motion every five seconds, but this will run your battery down much faster. No matter how hard I tried, I could never get the unit to enter test mode, or at least I had no indication that it was working in test mode. This was not the case on the Ecolink sensor, but the sensor does work and I am going to use the default setting that will wait four minutes after the detection event before it looks again. As I mentioned before, this model does not come with a mounting bracket. Your only choice is to mount this with the double back tape. This to me is a serious design flaw. Until I come up with a better way to mount this, I'm going to hang it on my wall with this little picture hanger. It'll get me by for today. This location will only detect movement in my office and ignore movement in my hallway. All in all, this is a useful piece of technology, as long as you can get past the mounting options. At this point, I probably won't choose the Go Control in the future unless these design problems are sorted out. This is a shame since it has so many other cool features. The temperature monitoring, for example. This would be great for my sunroom and would allow me to automatically control the temperature through my in-wall AC unit. You can see the video where I installed the module to control this AC unit right here. The Go Control also has a tamper alert to let you know if someone has pulled the faceplate off. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more reviews, tips, and DIY videos, visit azhb.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like. If you know someone that would be interested in this video, please feel free to share. And thanks again to all of you that are already subscribed to me and following me on Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate your interest. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Both are at DIY Smart Home Guy. Until next time.